and I welcome to this video I am ABQ from how to do and today I will be showing you guys how to make GTA so let's get started first thing first what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and click the link in the description box below download playmaker for free after you have uh, downloaded it import it and you will see these uh, these folders then next thing you have to click the link in the description box below and download this folder you will find this uh, this character watchdogs character then these uh, animations all right and we will be using these two things and then these are textures and materials all right so let's get started first thing you need to go to animation uh, folder take out this watchdogs character press F to zoom in and just go ahead and reset the scale so that everything becomes zero then we have to add some platform so let's just go ahead and 3d object and plane do the same thing reset and it will be perfectly set all right now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead right click and add an animator controller click that and let's just set it to anim all right now select your watchdogs character drag and drop this anim to uh, this controller all right so you're good to go double click the animator uh, to open up this animator window if you don't see it go to window and animator and you will see this window pop out uh, here what you need to do is you need to uh, go ahead and search idle idle all right and just drag and drop this idle here this is the idle animation then we will say uh, walk forward uh, this one I guess yep it's called walk forward loop the drag and drop this over here all right and then we need run forward uh, loop so it must be this one all right so he's running drag and drop it over here so we have uh, shut up shut up shut up <laughs> okay so idle walk and run now we have to make the transitions between them so let's just right click make transition idle to walk and walk to idle and again make walk to run and run to walk all right and now if you click these arrows these transitions you will see that there are conditions over here i'm making this third person uh, tutorial again because there were many uh, problems people were facing and they were uh, requesting me to make this video again on third person tutorial so I'm making this whole tutorial again alright so you will see the conditions right here so list is empty because we don't have any uh, parameters over here so let's just make one uh, sorry delete this one okay so we have to go to the parameter and say float let's call it input i don't know magnitude and let's say if input magnitude is greater than 0.1 go to walk and if it input magnitude is less than 0.1 uh, then go to idle again all right i will i will explain this in a second so what input magnitude is it is a variable all right it's the variable when this variable is greater than 0.1 then we will go to walk and we will use this variable we will control this variable by uh, scripts you know playmaker scripts so let's just run this for a moment and see uh, what is happening uh, let's just play uh, the camera is not set let me just set the camera first uh, to show you guys let's just set the camera like this okay let's play so the input magnitude is zero so he's doing the idling uh, idle animation and if we set this to one uh, nothing actually happens 
sorry you have to close this all right you have to unmark all of these things too I forgot sorry uh, there we go now <clears throat> uh, let's set zero all right so this guy is now idling and when we set to uh, one he starts walking all right and then again when we set it to zero it should stop all right so we will use this uh, we have to just control this variable using the playmaker script and then we will be good to go so uh, let's go ahead and say fsm so you will see these options if you have imported the playmaker if you haven't just go ahead and click the link in the description box below and download playmaker for free because it's paid and you don't have to buy it if you're watching my videos yeah edit so we will start off by saying uh, what will we say input input uh, wait a second get axis sorry get axis vector a vector I said vector get axis vector all right so we will use the horizontal vertical they are actually the WASD if you don't know where they are go ahead go to uh, sorry go to edit project settings input and the and these axes you have to say uh, you see horizontal and vertical horizontal is left right uh, ad and vertical is uh, wns all right so these are what we are using so they are pre-made you, you don't have to set them all because unity has done that for you so horizontal vertical and you have to store this vector into a new variable called uh, input vector all right and we can store the magnitude in input magnitude all right input magnitude and now what we're going to do is we want to say set any major float so this animator float is actually this input magnitude let's just copy it copy the name paste it over here input magnitude set the value equal to the input magnitude so input magnitude is basically uh, the uh, oh let, let, let me show you input magnitude inspector so it will be seen inspector and when we play or if you plus w you will see input magnitude will have some value and if i release it it gets zero uh, same with all the keys w a s d all right so it gets some values from 0 0.1 and then goes all the way to 1 so we will use this value to uh, get equal to the input magnitude all right so this input magnitude right here is this animator float and this input magnitude is actually this input magnitude which we <laughs> okay it's a little confusing but not that much I hope you're getting so let's set it every frame and then what I want to do is uh, Really, what I want to do is uh, let's just let's just play see what happened. Well, there we go. He is moving, all right. However, he does not change his direction. He goes in forward. So let's just change that. Uh, let's say smooth look at direction or smooth look at uh, smooth look at direction. Yes okay input vector set this target direction to input vector which we are get uh, which we are getting from uh, get access vector all right this get access vector tells us that uh, what uh, key the player is pressing like wasd so he will uh, look around according to that all right and let's see now what happens is there any problem in here you can see he has started moving around like like really cool right that that's it however the camera is not set well, let's just set the camera right here scene uh, with the camera let's reset it take it out put it somewhere over here to make it kind of like third person third person game uh, I guess like that okay I guess so it looks good to me yeah it looks good now 
I want to go to the watchdog's character, add a empty object inside the watchdog's character, press F, and come here, and let's just place it right on the top of his butt, <laughs> alright, and then what we want to do is we want to just rename it to, rename it to uh, camera, sorry, camera, Follow. I don't know if the camera spelling is right. Uh, let's just say cam. Cam. Follow. <laughs> cam follow, and then we go to uh, the actual camera, and then say playmaker, uh, FSM. Then it will say move towards. All right, and we want to move towards the cam follow finish distance will be one and all that stuff and let's say mouse uh us mouse look mm, mouse look i guess yep yeah, mouse look <clears throat> and 15 will not be good so let's just say six six maximum none none minus 80 80 i guess so it's good see if it's working properly okay that's that's not good uh, however it's not moving at all why let me fix it uh, so what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and add another empty object uh, let's just copy it um, uh, cam base let's just say cam base and put it out there and put the camera inside the cam base and we want don't want or we can copy it copy this guy and then delete remove this component paste the component over here all right and uh, and let's see what's now happening yep there we go uh, he's not following okay <coughs> uh, so it's uh, you just have to just set it to zero that's it I guess I guess so <laughs> um, there we go he's moving pretty good uh, but the camera is uh, invert the movement the camera movement from the y-axis is invert so let's go to edit project settings input and then close these two guys mouse y and let's set invert all right that should do it yep it's working and you can move around however however you can see that i look around he does not changes his direction according to that so we have to change that too Okay, go to camera base and go no sorry, go to watchdog's character and this relative thing is empty. You have to just uh say pull this camera inside over here. So that should do it. <clears throat> there we have it. Uh he is moving around just as we like it. Alright, there we go bam however if he goes out he will not uh, fall that's that's kind of superpower <laughs> so we have to fix that too and this was the main reason I, I just made this whole tutorial again so what you need to do is you need to just go to watchdogs character add component and say uh, character controller all right and you have to position it up move it up uh, reduce the out height sorry height uh, there we go and reduce the radius there we have it all right yep now uh, I think it it does not work I think so it will not work I guess so uh, yeah it works 
let's just see it again if we continue moving if we continue moving he will he will fall well it, it actually works uh, but sometimes it does not so what you have to do is you have to just go to idle uh, come on you have to uh, yeah that's done you have to just yeah yeah it's, yeah it's it's already done everything is already perfectly done so you don't have to do anything if you're using these animations so they will probably probably work and let's see add a cube add a cube like that control D alright so here are some stairs I made and let's see if he can climb this Come on. so uh, yep there we go <coughs> he is uh, he is climbing and there we go he is actually doing something so that's it for today's video uh, I hope to see you in my next video the next video will be on making running system and then I guess jumping and then we will move on to driving cars getting in and out and then plane system and yeah so don't forget to subscribe like my video and if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link will be in the description hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video till then be cool